Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the Loop Deck Plus editing panel from Loop Deck. Big thanks to them for sending this out. I have been using this for the past two months or so and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Is it worth it? Should you buy it? Is it helpful? All those kind of stuff. Uh, it is compatible on most editing softwares. I personally use it on Lightroom and Premiere Pro. Those are the softwares that I use. But before diving into that, we are going to take a look at the buttons that it has and how you can customize them. And after that, we're going to actually use it and put it to the test, actually edit a video or even a color grade, but we'll get to that later. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so as you can see here, I have it alongside my keyboard. You can actually use this by itself instead of the keyboard because it comes with all of the functionalities like Control, Command, Alt, Tab, Shift, all those keys along with arrow keys as well. Uh, undo, redo, all in one button. Uh, copy, paste, same thing. You don't have to press Command C or Control C. You've got a control dial, custom modes, a bunch of custom profiles which you can set on your own. Uh, these are all the editing areas, so for coloring, I'd say. Contrast, clarity, exposure, all that good stuff. This is the main area I use most of the time, actually. Uh, you've got your HSL along with some dials as well for each color. And before and after, screen mode and export. And as I said earlier, the arrow keys. So one major caveat that I do have with this, as you can see here, my editing place is a little bit on the darker side. My keyboard is LED lit. This, on the other hand, is not. So if you got a darker area, it's kind of hard to see unless you light it up so you can see all the keys. Unless you've been using it for a while, then you can uh, automatically, you know, uh, remember it through uh, muscle memory. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. The size is on the bigger side, but they did update or upgrade all this functionality in terms of size and the LED function on their newer model, the CT. So this is the older model, but it also is cheaper. So this is the main editing interface that we have here. Now let us look at the software where you can customize all these keys. So once you go into the software, this is the window you're gonna be greeted with. You can select your device, the application. Over here we've got Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and a bunch of other good ones. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate on Premiere because that's the one we're gonna use. Uh, you can simply select whichever dial or button that you want and customize it to your liking. Uh, a lot of functionality you can pick from. I'm gonna keep it as default. And for these ones over here, you can select what action you want for rotating as well as pressing down. Again, we're gonna just keep it for default. And we are gonna go right into editing. Over here, I have got a clip for one of my recent projects. So as we can see, some basic functionality instead of command or control copy, uh, sorry, control C, you can simply hit copy and then paste all in one click. Uh, maybe that's a bit too much, but uh, you get the basic concept of it and a lot of other functionalities You've got shift control command all that good stuff undo Redo All one button. That's really really fast uh, This is the main area that I use con contrast clarity. It's all within the Lumetri panel So the beautiful thing about this is let's go ahead and reset this real quick uh, you can really get accurate with it. So if you've dealt with Lumetri before, you know it's kind of difficult to get the right number right from the beginning. But with this right here, so even if your mouse is over here, you can simply go and increase the exposure very accurately. Don't like it, it's too much, want to reset it? Easy, just hit, just click it down and you go back to zero. So you can do a quick grade, increase the uh, exposure, bring down the blacks, increase the whites, and also, this is the closest you're gonna get to DJing. Uh, personally, that's how I feel, so da -da 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 -da, something like that. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the basic correction. Another great functionality that I tend to use quite a bit is the color wheels. So you can simply bring it up, sorry, right to left from here, up and down from here. And again, like I said, the beautiful thing about this is the accuracy. One of the big problems that I have these circles are too small and I tend to overdo it most of the time. But with this one, I can really get accurate with how far I want to go. And once again, too much, I just click down and it resets. Simple as that. 
Once you're done all your correction, all the, this is the basic functionality that I went over, but you're done everything, good to go, good to export. One click over here and bam, you're good to export. That simple and that quick. What more do you want? So that's pretty much it in terms of basic functionality. This is the area that I use the most over here. Uh, pretty much most of it actually. Uh, anyways, I don't want to keep this video too long. Just get straight to the point and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. All right, so what are my thoughts on it? Should you get one? Is it worth the price? All of that good stuff. The short answer is yes and no. Yes, it is really helpful, but you kind of really need to take the time and effort into learning it. Uh, it's almost like an instrument. So uh, you gotta put in some effort and work into learning it. It's not as difficult, but just keep that in mind. You're not gonna just put it right away and you're gonna be super great at it. But if you do take the time and effort to learn it, it really will speed up your workflow. Not drastically, but it, it's very noticeable. I've noticed it. Uh, other than that, I think it's priced very moderately. It's not that expensive. Uh, that's another factor to consider. But again, is this absolutely necessary? No, but it can really help your editing workflow and I recommend it personally. It's been very helpful for me. And if you got the budget for it, and if you're willing to learn it, I recommend it to you as well. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. I'll see you guys next time.